In this video, we are going to talk about Top 10 Healthy Habits to Start Today So, before starting the video please like this video, to subscribe and turn on the notification to our channel for future updates Many of us procrastinate when it comes to establishing new health promoting habits There are a variety of reasons for this, including the fact that it doesn't seem like a good time or that you don't have enough time, that a holiday or celebration is approaching, that it appears too difficult or stressful, and that your family or partner will not get on board. However, there are many healthy habits that do not necessitate a significant investment of time, effort, or financial resources. Instead of repeating a cycle of harsh or restricted diets, or detoxifying after a prolonged period of gluttony, we'd like to propose the following scenario. What if you were able to sustain your health practices on a daily basis, all year long? Practicing these 10 healthy behaviors is uncomplicated, simple, and reasonably priced. They are reachable, which means that you can begin practicing them as soon as you finish watching this video and will not become bored with them by the end of the week. It is true that today is a special day. 10. Use stairs and furniture as makeshift gym equipment. If you have a set of stairs at your residence or place of business, use them whenever possible. Nonetheless, don't stop there. Walking up and down the stairs on a regular basis will provide a good aerobic workout. Begin with a small number of repetitions and gradually increase the number as you get more powerful. Consider using wine bottles or a gallon of water as weights, and your kitchen chairs for planks and tricep step exercises to make your workout even more interesting. Why spend money on pricey equipment when you can make use of your existing furniture? 9. Drink one extra glass of water a day. Drinking more water has been shown to provide numerous health benefits for many years. It aids in maintaining a normal body temperature, lubricates and cushions joints, protects the spinal cord and other delicate tissues, and eliminates waste products through urination, perspiration, and bowel movements, among other functions. Because water accounts for 50-75% to 75 of your body weight, drinking plenty of plain old H2O is essential to keeping your body operating at peak performance and remaining hydrated. It is possible to flavor water in order to increase your intake if plain water isn't your preference. 8. Replace diet soda with carbonated water. According to research, the brain reacts to artificial sweeteners in the same way as it does to sugary sweets. In order to wean oneself off of diet soda, Jeffers recommends drinking carbonated mineral water every day for a few weeks. According to the CDC, Consuming them on a regular basis can enhance your craving for high-calorie foods, increasing your risk of weight gain. If you don't care for carbonated water, consider drinking unflavored tea, coffee, or plain water that has been infused with fruit instead. Although quitting diet soda and artificial sweeteners cold turkey is not a practical option, reducing the amount of diet soda and artificial sweeteners you consume will do wonders for both your waistline and your health. 7. Take a 10-minute walk. A 10-minute stroll can help improve your cardiovascular health, according to Travers. Walking during your lunch hour or going to a store that is only a few blocks away to pick up a gallon of milk is beneficial to your health. If you're at work, walk to the farthest bathroom and use the stairwell to get to your floor. When conducting errands, try to park as far away from the destination as possible and walk from there. It's important to remember that even the smallest number of steps adds up. It's understandable that the weather isn't always cooperative, and going outside when it's snowing or windy is the last thing you want to do. But don't allow the chilly weather to deter you from your goals. You can frequently stroll more easily if you dress appropriately, begin with a sweat wicking layer next to your skin, then add insulating layers for warmth, and finish with a waterproof shell to keep the elements out. 6. Correct your posture. Have you ever had your parents scold you for having horrible posture when you were a kid? If so, what happened? The bad news is that they were correct in their assumptions. Having proper posture can help you avoid aches and pains as well as lessen stress on your ligaments and joints. Aside from that, maintaining proper posture can help to reduce backache as well as fatigue and muscle soreness. As Travers explains, you can experiment with writing a note to yourself to sit up straight until it becomes an unconscious habit. The ability to walk with your shoulders back and your head held high might also help you feel better about yourself. It is not possible to immediately improve your posture, nonetheless, reminding yourself to sit up straight has a favorable impact on your general health. 5. Go to bed half hour earlier. Do you get a full 7 or 8 hours of sleep on most nights? Although many of us do not, scientists believe that doing so is a sign of good heart health. Solid sleep not only provides you with greater energy, 
but it can also aid you in your efforts to achieve your healthy eating goals. When you don't get enough sleep, your body's production of hormones that inhibit appetite is reduced, which might result in weight gain. If you suffer from untreated insomnia or sleep apnea, you may be at greater risk for heart disease, obesity, and high blood pressure, among other health problems. It is not necessary for those 7 to 8 hours to be consecutive. Make an effort to take a brief nap early in the day if you're feeling particularly exhausted. But be careful not to overdo it. Limit your naps to 30 minutes or less in order to prevent falling asleep later than you ought to. Make an effort to go to bed 12 hours sooner than you normally do. Turn off your phone, you won't miss anything, we promise, and curl up with a good book before bed. You'll be drifting off to sleep in no time at all. 4. Incorporate balance exercises into your routine. Balance on one leg for 10 seconds at a time, then switch to the other leg to complete the exercise. Travers recommends that you incorporate this balance exercise into your daily routine, but it may even be done while brushing your teeth or waiting in line at the grocery store. It is a component of neuromotor training, which helps you improve your balance, agility, and mobility all of which are necessary for everyday movement as well as other forms of physical activity. Even though it may be tempting to start your morning workout right away, you should wait an hour after waking up to do so. The time you spend waiting protects the discs in your back. There is a risk associated with any exercise, including the stretching you may have been trained to perform before getting out of bed in the morning. Bending, lifting, and twisting motions BLTs, have the potential to be life-threatening. Even softer exercises such as yoga, pilates, and strenuous walking put you at risk for heart disease. What are the fundamental exercises? Don't even allow the thought to cross your thoughts. If you wake up stiff in the morning, simply tighten and release muscles all over your body to get yourself moving. Because your discs are fully hydrated when you first get out of bed in the morning, the strains on your spine are three times higher than they would be a few hours later. Within an hour of standing upright, 90% of the excess fluid has dissipated, making exercise safer to perform. 3. Weigh yourself every week? To keep your weight from creeping up on you, set a weekly maintenance or loss target for yourself, write it down, and assess your progress against that goal every week or two. Weigh yourself once a week on the same day and at the same time, and make sure you're wearing the same amount of clothing for consistency to maintain your weight loss. Remember to take into consideration the fit of your garments as well as the scale measure. Work together with your doctor or dietitian to develop meal plans that will help you attain your weight loss goals more quickly and in the healthiest manner possible. 2. Start off your day with a healthy breakfast. Consume a high-fiber, high-protein meal to keep you feeling full and energized throughout the day. If you start the day off well, you're more likely to eat healthier throughout the day, which lowers your chance of developing diabetes and improves your cardiovascular health. Breakfast also has the added benefit of reducing brain fog, so you'll be more alert and focused during those early morning meetings. Are you sick of eating the same bowl of oats every day? To make it more interesting, experiment with different toppings. It's also possible to make omelets that aren't monotonous. To make a quick and easy breakfast burrito, fill a whole grain wrap with your favorite salsa, cheese, and eggs and wrap it up. There are a plethora of alternatives. 1. Include greens and lettuce in your meals. Include lettuce in your meals to increase the number of nutrients and water in your diet. The fiber in lettuce helps you feel fuller for longer periods of time, and it only has 20 calories per serving. Lettuces that are dark green and reddish in color are the most healthy and tasty of the lettuce varieties. Even the common, pale iceberg lettuce, which is high in water, fiber, and folate, is beneficial. So, that's it for today's video. What are your thoughts on our video? Please let us know in comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification to our channel before you go. Thank you so much for watching. 